And we're back. I managed to work my way back to here. Um, I will admit, I wasn't expecting to find a freaking ley line here. Um, If I don't make my special medicine soon, it'll start to affect my work. You, lady, I am called Andras. If you have the time to spare, won't you heed my request and collect a certain item? I desire bicon horns for creating a special medicine for Hexen. Oh, Kylos, I should do the trick. Five bicon horns, huh? Come on, back on. Don't even try that shit. But yeah, I, I will admit when, cause like, so, cause obviously, as I said, I'd be back, um, I had to defeat Hydra again. After I beat Hydra again, I ended up going to go fight Pazuzu again. Oliver Hinter then used Mudo on me and killed me as well. Freaking chance of insta-kill with that thing is always in the enemy's favour for some reason. Um... So I then had to do it again. And it got very frustrating. I then had to, you know, face Hydra a third time. And then go beat Pazuzu again, which I did. Um, and then... What, what, what else happened? Oh yeah, as you can see, I've now got Kikurihime and Bugs. I also have Berith in the back. So, you know, I'm getting closer to a couple of things. No, you don't like Bufu, go die. Zabity Zap. I swear to God, if I keep going on shit, I'm gonna get pissed off and die. So, um, in terms of the place that I started recording at again, um, I honestly didn't know that was even a thing. I didn't even see that there until this time round. Yeah. You wouldn't really think anything of it. I'd... I'd rather not... Um... 
It looks like it would kill me in like one minute. So no thank you. Of course I am. I made a deal, right? Fallen talisman. Nice. So now I can use the um the Magasui skill for Fallen. For the uh, fallen demons. I I'd really rather not. Because I feel like if I did, it would go ahead and try to kill me upon seeing me. And I don't fancy dying yet. Oh boy. Because it spawned one right where I'm going to friggin' be. Jack o' lantern. Right, you little shits. You decided to fuck with me last time. This time, I'm fucking with you. Mahama. Good, I still do have the light chest. Goodbye, Leon City. Dark Dumpner and Dark Shark. Yep. Summoner's Hospitality and Divine Garrison Fall. Interesting. Ah, shit. This is where I wanted to go. I will come back for this quest. I'm not going to be an absolute twat considering it doesn't seem like he's got one. Fall 
off the edge here. Drop the drop. Nice. You look like the person we need to talk to. Stuff for stroll in the middle of nowhere. You could. Question is, are you going to? That's the main thing. I'm just gonna just sign some of There we go. We all have to do something for me first. Yeah. Hey. Probably not. I'm gonna go save. I'm not losing all the focus I've done. Chronicle deeds. Chronicle the fucking deeds. Hold on, folks. It actually took me out of the call I was in this time. A miracle. <laughs> right. I was on the phone with my boyfriend, and it normally doesn't take me out of the call on my phone. Usually, I have to end the call on my phone once I go on my computer. Fair, fair. I need to turn you down because you are bleeding through into my microphone somehow. Yeah. Uh, try now. I just need to check audio levels also. Words, 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 words. I'm speaking <laughs> words. <laughs> yeah, it should be fine. Dude, yeah. I woke up this morning and I took the dog out to pee and then I immediately got a shower. And my boyfriend wakes up. And every morning he's like, I want to lay back down before I get a shower. And this morning I was like, no, bitch. If I had to suffer, you had to suffer. <laughs> Yeah. Your fucking color right now. Bye, bye, bye.
Oh, boy, me. Oh, I'll, uh... Won't do it. Yeah. I'll let you watch as well. Glass. I need to see what this thing's weak to. We need to weak to fire and electricity. <laughs> At least, uh, oh. I'm confused. Uh, so currently, I'm on the, I'm on a quest for a mermaid. She wants to um, end the curse that's been put on all her friends by another demon called Pazuzu. I've beaten Pazuzu, but the curse hasn't been lifted. So she's heard words of um, Anahita being here and wants her to try and end the curse. She is happy to do so, but the thing is she's um, bored and is hoping for some entertainment via a battle. What are you yeah. gonna do, you know? I mean, it's the demon board. I, I expect no different, to be fair. <laughs> did you hear me disconnect a second ago? Uh, no, I did not. I disconnected and I wouldn't let me reconnect. And I it happened when I copied an image. And I'm like, it told me I'd reconnected somewhere else, but I hadn't. And I was like, oh well. Bit weird. Yeah, what is that? Oh my god, it's kind of cute, not gonna lie. <laughs> what oh is this? Oh my god! It's adorable! You'll have to show me, like, after the things. <laughs> Are you the what one about. That, the one that you, This, you yeah! Know. Yeah! He's so cute! It's long doge, as I like to call it. I would say long cap, but he's a doge. Long doge. <laughs> uh, let's go! He's adorable. I want one. Kinsey, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Kinsey, I'm sorry. Kinsey, I'm sorry. I can't be my dog anymore. Okay. Yeah. I miss my actual dog, but you know, life happens. Which is fun. <gasps> I was like, where'd the bear go? Well, I'm cool, I know. <laughs> the bear will be back. The bear can actually turn into um, Alice, which is. <sighs> I'm trying to think of the best way to describe her. Um... I'm assuming it's like any intimidation No, it's. Um, you know those like porcelain dolls that's like really fucking creepy at that fucking time? Uh, you tend to see them in like horror films of possession and shit. Oh, she did turn into one of those. Yeah, essentially think of a fucking actual child-sized version of that. Like, it is the size of an actual terrifying. fucking child. It is terrifying. Is but it's amazing. Because like, in Persona 5, she's the ultimate death arcana demon and has the best friggin insta kill move ever Damn. was her but, sword just floppy uh she's not using salt what is that oh are you want about the thing that my character's using you have a floppy sword so what that's is actually made of, um, I think, electrical energy. Oh. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know what it is actually made out of, because it's not being explained. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, that's fair. Well, if it's not explained, I don't expect you to know. <laughs> yeah. But it, it is able to, like, flow and do some funny shit. So, yeah. Floppy lightsaber. Floppy lightsaber. Doesn't surprise me because 
our character is essentially a human, but merged with a photo fiend, so it's basically a cybernetic demon. And we've been and we fused with it. Oh, you beat her! Yo, nice. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so we've got a couple of ice gems, 402 XP. I don't know why Feng Fang got lost. That's confusing. But whatever. Wonderful. You are strong. I must say I've taken quite a liking to you. Don't say that, please. Last time a fucking demon said that, they ended up fucking joining me and I just used them for a fusion right away. Uh, everything should be fine now. The curse has been lifted entirely. Now then, I think it's time I return home. I greatly enjoyed our time together, mysterious demon. Should you ever end up desiring my power, you need simply call on me. As long as it's for you, I'd be more than happy to help any time. Oh god. So she is on your team now? I think. She's been unlocked for fusion. Let me see. I'm going to check to see what level she is. Probably a useless level, judging on what you said. She's level 29, actually. I'm not that far away from being able to get her. <laughs> Damn. Fucking hell. Why don't you like them? No, um... So usually when they act like that, they can be a bit flirty, and I'm just like, I don't want a flirty demon. <laughs> oh. All the demons are flirty, and you're like, please give me something else. Help me. Because like, I remember in SMT3, uh, when I did a Let's Play of that, which was just before I started playing this, um, quite a few of the female... Um, Quite a few of the female demons were very flirtatious. I'm just like, this doesn't feel like you guys know I'm like half human. <laughs> Especially considering one of them was actually a succubus. Oh, damn. And the other. Uh, these are memons. These are kind of like, we have to go around and collect them uh, for Gustav, which runs our shop, essentially. He's basically the shopkeeper and who we buy things from. Um, I will show you Gustav real quick. I need to go in there anyway now that I found 31 fucking uh, Neemans. Time to go into Cadaver's Hollow. Welcome. So it's like money. Ew, what the hell? Yeah, this is Gustav. Uh, no. Like the Joker's soul. <laughs> it is, yeah. Uh, no, glory isn't the money. For the mon for the actual currency, is maca. Nice. But the every time we collect like Looks five, uh, so as you see, the next time I get some is thirty five. So he gives us rewards every for every five minions we find. Okay, okay. So it's like an uh, Skyward Sword. There's a Zelda game. Yeah, it's no. essentially like a little collectible with the, so for example with uh, Zelda recently it's been the uh, Kokoros, I believe that's how to pronounce it. Oh, I still have to get through Breath of the Wild. I've not played a fucking Zelda game ever in my life. Honestly, Skyward Sword was my first one and I recommend that one or Twilight Princess. A lot of people hated Skyward Sword but I think it's cool. Mm. Because you use the Joy Cons or a long time ago the Wii Remote as the sword and the shield. So, like, you swing your arm and you slash. Ah. Ah. It's fun. I'm just taking a bit of me pop, that's all. I had chocolate milk this morning because I sneezed and it made me uncomfy, so I drank chocolate milk to make it better. Fair enough. Every time I sneeze in the morning, it makes me really uncomfortable. Like, I just don't like sneezing in the morning, but I always sneeze in the morning, and I'm like, damn it. <laughs> I don't want to sneeze. Yeah, say hello to the lovely Welcome Sophie. To the world of... Uh, Land Miracles. We have new ones now, let's see. 
Talk with the demon while having that same demon in your party will prompt them to occasionally heal you in battle. Interesting. Okay. Oh, the Do you really customize your character? In terms of looks, no, but in terms of abilities, like the skills it can use in battle, yes. So sadly we are stuck looking like a male with just very long blue hair. So you're a guy with long blue hair? Yeah. Or are you just... Okay. No, yeah, we're, we're actually a guy with long blue hair. Uh, oh, I guess for now I'll go with Kindred Hate Favor. Probably won't be useful all that much, but we'll see. So it's best to have something rather than nothing. Demon fusion, why? special fusion. Why? why have long blue hair? I don't know, it's just the way the game decided to be. So I need a level 27 snake for the final one. Of... Oh, so you're, um, you must be on a heat to them. Level 29, Nagami. She wasn't there before I faced Anahita, so that must be Anahita then. Interesting. Uh, I don't know why it ended up being long. All I know is um, before coming to the demon world, we had long hair. So, Sorry, not long hair. We had blue hair. Um, what the heck is that? That's amazing. Think of uh, Long Doggo, but uh, a different version in a sense. I don't know, That's Inogami amazing. looks kind of more fox-like. I don't know. I always get a bit... Looks like a Doberman. Yeah. I think it's actually longer than Makami, so... Longer Doge. <laughs> longer pointy ear Doge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Christ. I'm gonna show you how we fuse them. Woman. Boobs. <laughs> uh, the power of titties. <laughs> Surprisingly, no, it's not that enough help with the fusion. We play a musical instrument. We are playing the piano. The, the power of titty. <laughs> I've never heard some of these so upset. I was so hopeful for titty. <laughs> you can't play this game anymore. It's 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 not okay. I. I'm so upset, like, I really wanted something to come out of the boobs and be like, ah, yes, maybe that's where the <laughs> instrument comes from. <laughs> maybe. Make, we we never see it get better. assembled. We never see it get assembled. So it could okay, be. well, the instrument comes out of her boobs. I feel better now. That, that is the headcanon, yeah. I was so glad I decided right. to make this call. <laughs> well, what? You don't like titty pianos, man? I can play a piano with my titties. I bet you can. <laughs> Plop them on the piano. It's beautiful. Beautiful music. <laughs> All the notes at once. <laughs> That's Probably what she does. She's like, ooh, let me assemble. What is he doing? Is he good? Is, has he had drugs? <laughs> I mean, he's just chuckling because I'm selling him stuff. Look at this set. Well, that sounds like drugs to me. Need anything else? Take it off? Yeah, I just need a little bit anything else. That's his drugs. You can't give him drugs, dude. Look, you're playing a game. There's not supposed to be drugs. <laughs> you can't sell him drugs. If you sell him drugs, Welcome he's just gonna to shake world. some more, and that's a little weird. I don't like it. No, no, no. He and shakes, but he doesn't drugs. have. <laughs> no. He, she's a he, hot. She's, he... Hot, so. <laughs> she's a hot. Yeah, I mean, she's actually kind of hot. I will admit. Well, she's hot, so you could sell her drugs, and maybe she'll give you stuff in return. If mm. you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Oh, buddy. But make sure she consents to the taking of drugs. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. 
Is this He's like, hey, take drugs with me. And she's like, no, be like, take drugs with me. And so she says yes. <laughs> I think she, yeah, she actually becomes the statue behind us when we play the piano. That doesn't make any, doesn't make any sense. Oh, so those are her titties. All right. Yeah, See, look, it even titties. got something over them that looks like a piano. Piano titties. See? Yeah. See? It does, See? yeah. <laughs> It's piano titties. Look at that. There's even the black keys on there. You're playing their titties. Oh, yes. <laughs> you are like, I'm dead ass. Like, look at the titties. It's got a piano over it. Yeah. I'm also like, thinking. You can see the black keys. Yeah. I'm also thinking, like, at one point, I'll do a stream on Kick where I'm just, like, beating out the dark ass fucking lore of some of these fusions. I got some of these demons that we get. Nothing, nothing will top piano titties. Like I literally, that's in my brain now. Yeah, you know I'm gonna show you a demon to see what you think. Otherwise, uh, which one is it? Where is she? Where is she? Piano titties. How's that? <laughs> um. <laughs> nice. Oh! She's over. I was like, dude, I don't know what, how to feel about that one part. That's kind of cool, though. Also, can I just point out, I didn't know this at first because when I look at the skills, I'm usually looking at the top half because that's what's there until I look at the next skills, which are at the bottom. And that's when I noticed, oh, she's rubbing her own ass. I mean, wouldn't you if you hadn't asked that great and you were separated from it? <laughs> you can't let it get away, man. That's a good ass right there. That's I mean, look well. at how long that fucking tongue is as well. She can get into places. Look how long her fucking intestines are or whatever the fuck's hanging out. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I feel like that is going to eat me. The bottom half is going to eat me and the top half is going to shove her tongue through my ear. I don't know. Um, uh, I mean, it can, it can definitely do that. Um, fuck, I, I know I said I wouldn't do this one on screen, but fuck it, I don't care. A witch whose law originated in the Philippines. It masquerades as a beautiful woman during the day, but transforms into a blood-sucking monster at night. It has the ability to separate its upper and lower body, and can sprout bat wings from its back to fly in search of humans to suck their blood. It is said that the Mananangal preys on unborn fetuses in particular, using oh, its proboscis-like tongue to open the wounds of pregnant women, wherein it will suck the fetus's blood or devour it outright. You know, that is how Corona started. <laughs> Coronavirus, it was just like, you know, I'm going to suck this, this fetus's blood and then... It didn't work, and the fetus was born with corona, because it's a bat, so. Oh, uh, Christ. Also, um, can I just say, I love how cute Poltergeist is. <laughs> that's Poltergeist? Yeah, that's Poltergeist. Honestly, same. It's kind of cute. I love it. Looks cute. Looks cute is actually a demon, I really. Yeah. A mischievous spirit known for haunting houses. The name is German in origin and literally means noisy ghost. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. It could do very wait, wait. things. Hmm? Wait, I live in a camper, so what ghost haunts campers? I don't know. I don't... I don't either. <laughs> hmm. I mean, it's still technically, in a sense, a house. People do live in them. Kinsey? Is that why you've been staring at the wall recently? <laughs> <laughs> Kinsey made a new friend. Yeah, it's the poltergeist is over there. Come <laughs> Although the new friend did have to watch her shit on the floor the other day, so I feel bad for that friend. Yeah, so it can do various things from pulling harmless pranks like making loud noises and moving objects through the air to dangerous destructive acts like starting fires and assaulting people. Poltergeist incidents often occur in homes with children or teenagers, and one theory states that the cause is a child's unstable mentality. Wait. That 
Okay, as a child, I feel like I actually did have a stable mentality. So I definitely did not. House was never haunted. I, I definitely did, as a did child. not. <laughs> as a teenager, I, I, I did not. But up until I was like 12, I was actually a pretty stable person. And then at 12, I was like, oh shit. Shit's mm. fucked. Damn. Shit's fucked up. Let's yeah. see. We don't have to laugh it up because obviously we've not seen it. Don't uh, die. That so. shit makes you die. So I just need my level 26 Jedi, which is. Ooh. Who is that? It's like the gayest man ever. I Cor like that guy. Oh god. No, he no, no. kind of reminds me of the uh, Colosseums if they were human. That's fair. You had a rainbow demon. Oh, are you on about Dionysus? Yeah. Look at that gay bitch. Look at the him. Greek gay god of hell. wine and theatre. He had two births. Myth tells that Zeus took the premature Dionysus from his dying mother, Samil, and allowed him to mature inside his thigh, so that the undeveloped god, sorry, underdeveloped god, might have a proper birth. I actually, he is one of my favorite, uh, I guess, Greek gods. Greek yeah. and Roman gods, I get their names mixed up. He is one of my favorite. I also like Apollo and Zeus himself, because who doesn't love a fuckboy that does re weird shit? Literally just fucked you know? every woman on the planet, he did, I swear to Exactly! Down. Like, honestly, if I had that power, like, why wouldn't you? Just for, I and think he actually wanted. transformed into people as well to do it. Oh yeah, he did. He transformed into a cow to fuck a cow. Yeah. It's just so weird. Honestly, though, if you had the power to impregnate anything, just saying uh, that, you know, it's, it's something to think about. <laughs> also, say hello to Loki. That's Loki? This He's is Loki. <laughs> a malevolent god of Norse mythology, though Wait, not always. Turn him, to the, turn him to the side. Why does he have, like, a. Okay, anyways, continue. Uh, though not always driven by malice, he can be capricious and is quite cunning. And despite being a blood brother to Odin, he was punished for many of his wrongdoings, including the murder of Odin's child, Baldur. He kind of looks like he has a pot belly from the front. Really? From the front, not the side. Look at the front. Just I mean, the way it yeah, looks. that's actually a good point because it, like, it goes inwards and then outwards, but the way it looks from the front is I just comes sticking out a bit. Yeah, you got a good point though. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas like, when oh. you look at it from the side, you can see the sort of like s small curve inwards and then coming out. But yeah. Yeah, he looks like a fat, like, beer Loki, beer belly <laughs> Loki. And then you turn into the side and you're like, mmm. You know, like, what the hell? I know for some reason his wings are really fucked up. <laughs> that ass. <laughs> we also have Anubis. Ooh, Anubis. Uh, let's see. The jackal-headed god of the dead and embalming from Egyptian myth. He weighs the hearts of the dead to determine their final destination. He is also said to govern the technique of mummification. I actually knew that from the movie The Mummy. Yes, I love The Mummy. I used to Which love one? When you have gathered more. the original. You know, they... Okay, I was gonna say because Tom Cruise was fake that new one. Yeah, no, he he he's yeah. shit in the new one. I I much prefer yeah. the original. Like he's shit in general now because he's like I'm gonna play a 13 year old boy even though I'm like 80 and I'm like dude. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 stop. I... You're old now. You can't keep no. No, you don't. But yeah, no, I like, much prefer the originals over the fucking new one. The third you know Mummy movie that... was a bit eh, in my opinion, but... Oh, it, I haven't seen any of the other ones with their original. Uh, I've seen the first one, I've seen The Mummy Returns, I've seen the little spin-off of that called The Scorpion King, and I watched the third one a couple of times. I found it a bit mad, though. 
Did you know that Tom Cruise actually used to look like really fucked up? That doesn't surprise me. I thought I sensed a familiar presence, but I did not expect it would be from an unfamiliar demon such as yourself. Oh, fuck. I sent you a picture on Discord. See if you can figure out which one is Tom Cruise. You probably can, but... Is it the one all the way to the far right? Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't that's surprise like me. The, that's where he got his like big break movie, was Outsiders. It's yeah. all of their big breaks. Fair. And I'm like, dude, what, like, the his fuck? teeth were so <laughs> fucked up. He had you, them you fixed. Def, in you could definitely tell that he spent a lot of money to get them fixed and shit. I am I'm still pissed. Fair. What? Sorry. Fair, I know, I'm pissed fair. because Patrick Swayze is dead. Mm. And I loved him. And now he can't start any more movies. He was in one of the movies I watched as a kid, Fox and the Hound 2. Like, oh, I love that film. <laughs> Anger. So I see. I am Huang Long, the one who watches over the world from the skies. My power, how nostalgic. I never would have imagined meeting a Nahabino. Ambino! But here you are, fear of the condemnation. I will admit you've piqued my interest, thus I will grant you an opportunity. Slay the four gods that I unleash and prove that you are truly powerful? Oh, fuck What? You. Yeah, really. Upon your completion of the task, I will grant your request for my aid. What say you? Uh, I know. I, I'm gonna have to. Then I shall call forth the four gods to this area. There will be one waiting for you in the north, south, east, and west. It seems your powers are not yet great enough to defeat all four gods. It may be necessary for you to proceed onward with your current mission and gain more power. <laughs> Let us meet again. I look forward to seeing you once you've become more powerful. Screw you, Huang Long! Yeah, really. I was gonna say something as well, but I forgot oh. what it was. Uh, that sucks. And it was, I, I was like, it was a genuine thing that I wanted to say, but I feel awkward. Why would he do that? That seems kind of bitchy. Like, I'm gonna destroy everyone's lives just so you can kill these things. But you won't be able to kill them right now, so let him destroy everything first. <laughs> Right, motherfucker. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say. You remember? Do you, do you forget the order of north, south, east, and west on a compass? Yeah. 